it is a Vention Skill Guide for RuneScape 3. Hello, my name is Zabak here, and welcome to another video of RuneScape 3 Skill Guide. Well, this skill guide is all about invention. How to level up the skill to low 99 as fast as you can for the time being. As you know, invention is actually a least skill, and you have to get a certain XP level to low 99 of the skill. It's not an, it's not actually a normal skill. It's more like a a, a combo skill or a combination skill skill in the cell because it has different kind of other skills those they have to use to level up your invention Gen. so yeah if you want to get the total level of XP for invention it's actually 30 it's actually 36 over 36 mil you know it's said over 13 mil for level 99 of a normal skill in the so oh and it's kind of different to explain and difficult to go into because it's a really powerful skill to test out anyway enough about that i'm gonna lay guys pause the video uh, and let me check out my status before we jump into tips and tricks, we got the methods and the rewards about prevention. Go ahead and do it. Okay, the first one is actually the tips and tricks about invention. So, how to get to unlock invention because it's actually an elite skill. It's not a normal skill in the sub. Oh, so to do that, you need to get the lower 80 divination, smithing, and crafting. Check out those guys on my channel, or, or I'll put a pin card on this video. Of the three skill guys of smithing, crafting, and divination, to how to get them to, get them to level 80 in the cell. So, once you hit level 80 of those three skills, you can go ahead and teleport to Lord Stone of Baldur and go and head go to the invention guild. The Adventure Guild is actually a powerful guild that gives you an introduction to Adventure. You talk to Doc, and Doc gives you the tutorial about Adventure. Once you finish the tutorial, you eventually level it goes up to level 4, four and that unlocks a whole bunch of other stuff of a level 4 Adventure. Watch this able. One through a level four invention when you're done with the tutorial. Like Doc tells you about how to make, tells you the story about invention, how to disassemble items, and how to make your first augment of uh, invention. And then you have to dismantle the augment in the cell by a tool or weapon. And after all, look, once you hit level 4 invention, you unlock the divine charges, and those are the ones that you have to do to attain leveling up your invention. The divine charges is uh, more fancy. But first, you want to make your first augment and for invention. And that is by the blueprints of discovery tab. This is where you get make all your uh, items to start in, and, and how to attain different kind of blue devices you guys can make for invention and DSL. Oh, now I only 
I already just dis, uh, discovered all the items of invention above lower 99. This still can go up to level 120 in these cells. Oh, and one thing you actually attain is check out the inventory bag, go to the to the symbol of the ball light, click on it, and it tells you what kind of materials you have in your belt. Like it's like a it's like a inventory belt for an invention and see what kind of materials you have for for uh, items you want to create. It's yeah, common materials, uncommon materials, rare materials, ancient materials, and then other materials, which is actually junk. <laughs> Seriously, it's literally junk. <laughs> what more can you do? Ew. Ew. The more, if you have a random item, dumb, say if I go to a certain item I want to disassemble, Oh, I'm going to just, let's say I want to disassemble a ruby. See, I'll go to my, not my magic tab, click on analyze, and then it was, click on a ruby, and it would analyze what kind of materials that this ruby has when you disassemble it. It has a clear part, which is often, Decomposing parts, which is often smooth parts, which is often, and these three are actually common. The, uh, this, yeah, these two, or should say three, are the real, are the rarely uh, components. The pressurized components, the light co co components, and the virtualized components. Each material has a different kind of perks and items you must disassemble to attain these materials in these so say you want to get base parts or materials you must you must disassemble bullet weapons and whip hits and shields okay for now they give you different kind of perks from materials for the base parts they give you Taunting, Dragon Slayer, Talking, and Alteration. And it's the same thing for weapon, but it's actually in intercation. So I'm going to put you these, these names. And then also they have two perks too, and those are Canto, Talking, and Alteration. So it's interesting and weird to how it works. Uh, but once you unlock a certain uh, device from discovering your blueprint, you can go to the workbench and, and this is where you get to make all your devices. Is the first you want, one you want to make is actually your, your augment. The augment takes 250 parts, yeah, 45 parts, base parts, 45 transient parts, 45 trucks of parts, 8 chanting parts, and 7 powerful components. Components and these so. So, there are different kind of ways how it works. Now, now also, um, the augments and the bind charges has these energies. And these energies you, you can actually get, get from divination. Shin. The higher your divination skill is, the, the less energy you actually need to collect. And these so, out. It tells you from the tab how many energy you need, you need to attain. So say you have level, you have level 90 in divination, you can, you can get in intercation energy, and you only need 250 get 225 indication energy. Then you can move on to other under levels of 90 e, and those are a little more in D so. Oh, because if you want to get level one 
um, donation. You need 2,000 pill energies. Jeez. And where's the things billions? So you need two. So you need four hundred and fifty billion NG for a two eighty divination level level NG. So now these two are very important and for loving every invention, the divine charges and the augments. The augment you actually a equip and augment to make a weapon and or tool or a armor piece to a, a level gain. Yeah. I have a weapon that's actually augmented in the so oh and it's called the augmented superior best in spiel. Spiel. Now each augmented weapon has a level well starting with level one and it can max out to level twenty. E then it can actually keep going all the way a low 20 and you want to do that to disassemble it or you can actually siphon it. I talked those about I talk about those two later on the video. Oh. Alright. Now they also have a item XP for how much XP you need to level up the level X, the item level actually, actually. And then up under the, the item XP are the perks. Perks. And if I check my perks, it would tell me hey, what kind of perks I have. So I have looting a demon bait, scavenge one, and piercing one. No. Now you can actually upgrade these perks for the time being. Like I, like I should upgrade my scavenging 1 to scavenging 5 actually. And my piercing, I should upgrade to, to piercing 5 or 2. You, if you hover all these, get these perks, you can notice what they do. For looting, it gives you a more chance to, to a drop chance of side by side. 25% high level res resources. For demon bait, you deal less damage to demons. The scavenge, this one is kind of interesting to so because you actually collect components, uncommon or whale components, based on your mansion level. Oh, and it's only a 1% chance you can get it. And for piercing, it's increased the, your minimum damage by 1.5% per perk of your maximum damage. So it's like a, a current hit uh, bonus for the weapon and D so. So, so yeah. Kind of cool, I gotta say. Say. Now, once you make your divine charges and the augment, then you want to make a gizmo. Now, gizmo is actually split by three parts. There's a weapon gizmo, there's an armor gizmo, and then the tool gizmo. As well. And each one is kind of different. And, and then later on the line, you can actually make a ancient gizmo oh, to get nine perks, it has, have nine slots, instead of five slots, when you make a gizmo. Oh. And the, so. Yeah. And I think that's actually pretty much it. It, I gotta say. Hey, before I jump into the methods, I just wanna show you the other items you can actually attain to. So I have one, so I have like maybe like two of them that you can actually use. And if those two are the Fish and Matic and the Order of Scree Screamer version one. And the Fish and Matic is actually pretty simple. It's just a, a tool 
skill item from a bench and that allows you to do AFK fishing. This one is a little more different and Orange Screamer is actually a soil siphon that actually destroys soil but you collect the materials while you're doing archaeology. A archaeology is a new skill of RuneScape but uh, under Mega Messing. Thing. And this auto screamer is is like a cleaning the the soft the soil all all around it. So that's why you're doing archaeology. So it's like AFK archaeology in DSO. Oh so yeah. If you go under the tab the scaling support, there you go. Oh, you have the you have the components. So there is the fish matic the plot the pyromatic, which is for fire making, the hemomatic, which is actually for smithing, the fish or the fishing are typical oh, which is actually for fishing too, and then you have the the herb protector. Which is for herbal. Or oh, this is for uh, keeping your farm plants healthy. The um, Xunder? What was uh, this one? The old screamer. Screamer. I thought, I thought it was under something else. Skilling combat, skilling targs, crate support, I don't think I can see, see it because I don't have my <laughs> organization level of it. I don't think so. Okay, that's fine. Fine, and do so. Oh, I thought it was okay. I should level. Level. Huh. Okay. Never mind. Anyway, enough about that. That. Let's just move on. Yeah, to something else. And those are the methods about invention. Let's do them. Alright, so the first thing you want to do when you level up your skill to other methods of invention to level 99. So, first of all, you want to do the tutorial of invention. And that is level one through four of invention do the tutorial in DSO. Talk to Doc and he gives you info about invention. And once you hit level four invention in, in these so oh um you will attain the next level method of it and those and that is level four to twenty seven Seven invention. Before I move on to the to twenty seven invention, let's let you know that Doc gives you gives you the tutorial on how to make these items, and how to attain them, and how to actually disassemble these items, so you can actually gain XP to level up invention skill. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is actually make your first augment of a range weapon. I recommend you, you you're welcome to do a black sand mando or a crystal web a crystal weapon. And now the crystal weapons are quite uh, expensive, but the black sand mando is pretty cheap. It's only three thousand dollars. Yes, over three thousand dollars for black sand mando. Uh, for a crystal weapon, it's fifty thousand dollars. 
uh, GP and the cell. And it's what you're welcome actually what you want to make for those items in in the cell. So but I will recommend a black salamander how how it works. Now you need two black salamanders to actually disassemble. Oh, and you want to level up that weapon to level five and then disassemble it. Now the how to do that is actually to do some combat at and since Black Sand is a level till 70 weapon weapon I believe you can, you can fight a high enough level of enemies in these cells and those are the water fiends of the popping assault out in the cell. You do need to get into the barbarian barbarian training uh, approach before you can enter the water fiend dungeon. Gen but just do that at until you get to level by invention and and then you just assemble the two of them to get to level 25 27 invention actually. Once you hit level 27 invention, you unlock the siphon in the cell. Go ahead and go to your blueprints and discover the, the equip siphons. These siphons actually allow you to make weapons or armor or tools, tools that gives you a little more XP than just assembling them. them. They also uh, um, save a lot of money for the time being because you don't have to disassemble at them anymore. Oh, what a siphon does is actually is destroys um, your your item level and your item XP, and then gives you the the adventure XP for the time being. Yeah, and also you do want to level up your item level to level 10 of your augment so when you hit that 20, level 27 make sure you discover level 10 of your augment augment and then you do you actually want to do that again at level 27 to 45 but to 27 to 45 you want to augment three black salamanders or three crystal weapons and you're welcome to siphon them or or actually disassemble them it's your choice always um and these so and do the same thing again just buy some water fiends at the dungeon of a barbarian assault so once you hit level 45 invention and you unlock actually a interesting way of invention and those are the tools so the tools that we explain actually for the skillings of invention and those are mining smithing fishing shing and archaeology g and d so now the tools need require I actually till sixty or above actually. Under that it won't work uh, because uh, it's kind of different. For what actually and and also you need wood cutting too. So wood cutting is a dragon hatchet, a crystal hatchet, and the encanto hatchet. For fishing is the fishermanic. The Chairman Fishermanic and the Crystal Fishing Rod. The, for mining, it's the Dragon Pickaxe, the Crystal Pickaxe, the Encanto Pickaxe, and the Pickaxe of Earth and Song. For fire making, it's Pyromatic, the Chanto Pyromatic. And the crystal tinder box for smithing is the hammer hammer the chin hammer 
and the crystal hammer. And then, and then finally, for archaeology, it's the dragon of Manic, the crystal of Manic, the cantor Manic, the Manic of time and space, and the Grandmaster of Tony's of Manic. I don't even bother getting that. Let's get the Manic of time and space. Base actually. Anyway, okay, you want to do that to a couple of times of of siphon in in the Excel. Now, when you augment a tool, you cannot put them in the tool but um tool belt actually. They are actually put it in your arm wearable on your arm. So thing. So. The how it works, because it's not portable to your tool belt. Belt. So choose wisely. See, yeah, yeah. But definitely choose one of these items. Down to go ahead and level them up to level ten, and then, and then you want to siphon these these tools over and over until you hit level 60 invention so 45 through 60 you, you actually want to do the tools of skilling of woodcutting fishing mining fire making smithing and or archaeology your choice good luck with those because once you hit level 60 invention gen you get a really powerful item called the siphon mechanism so, and that allows you to sort these siphons in the mechanism and you're allowed to afk and make as long as you can and when you hit a, a certain level of that one it automatic siphon actually so it's kind of saving prices but it works it's not a, it's not a hard but it works. Oh, it works in DSO. And then 60 through 99, you want to do that over and over again. It's the same level as usual, level 10. Or you could do level 15 because 15, cause you actually get the blueprints of your augment at level 15 at level 60 invention, actually. So it's up to you. You want to do of siphon or do you want to do level 15 of siphon to reach level 99 invention so 60 through 99 go ahead and do that and and that's actually pretty much it it for the time being yeah so that's all the methods you actually uh, attain for invention and how it works is actually kind of interesting and cool how it goes. Anyway, let me talk about the awards about invention. Awards about invention. I want to talk about um, some two things or maybe one thing, thing if we can do it. First of all, all let's talk about the armor, the augments for armor. You unlock the armor slot of invention at level 16 invention and and these are kind of interesting to so so they have different kind of tabs for and those are melee magic range and hybrid it armor so for melee is kind of interesting thing but these are actually t these are actually high level deals of armor for th for the three combat skills range magic and melee hey because if you want to get a different kind of level so then say you want to get a tier 90 armor armor and those are shoot where is it where is master work where is master work armor not twin master work armor just master work armor 
I was showing true and master karma, but you get the point. It's no, I'm working, I'm certifying you, you should do no more work, master work karma. I'm like, oh, okay, that one didn't get quite that, okay. How about this? I forgot to range, and just is a lot, this is actually a lot more uh, confusing. Jing, where is it? Just another one. Here you go. An augment, centering, caps, cap of it, and at the tilt 90 range armor, it requires low 16 invention, and then an augment armor. You discover these two actually, actually, and then uh, these three actually are super buy. This is actually the most expensive one actually, the fine charges. Because you need 36 of them. Now, loser. Uh, that's a lot of uh, uh, <laughs> Kento energies you, you actually need to collect. Or you actually buy them at a great exchange. It's up to you. You and these cells. Alright? Yeah. Another thing is actually the machines. These adventure machines are actually kind of interesting. Thing. Why that? Because they give you items that are actually AFK. Hey, and the machines are kind, are kind of weird. Um, let me go ahead and go to tab under machines. Machines hit it all. So a level sixty invention, you unlock the machines, and those are actually pretty cool. Look, and these so. So you get. A order to assemble and disassemble, but you actually need a generator to make a machine. Yeah. But there also are many old or many other machines too. So like at disassemble, they have the alchemist, they have the potion product, the high tender, the plank maker, the and the plank yeah, the plank maker is actually the last one. Okay. Hey, so this is the generator. Uh, it's pretty simple in these so it takes divine charges I gotta say it takes more than before the augment divine charges than the, for the machines Means okay things like 3,000 divine charges this is for machines and 2,000 for the for augment weapon all right anyway I got my just a symbol over there. There, then you can put a high tender and that sort of thing. Each machine tells you what level of invention it need, needs to actually to make, and what kind of materials it needs to actually attempt to create. Eight and a lot of them actually needs uh materials and items and items in these so so it's not, it's not the best way of doing it but it helps you out because it want if you I go to the order to disassemble oh I can actually disassemble oh and then collect my parts parts to what I get and it's, and it's like an offline thing I, I gotta say so you just you just do that, go offline, and then come back the next day, and you get your materials, your materials from the machine. So yeah. Anyway, a that's actually pretty much it. I gotta say, let me check if I can actually see if I do this. Uh, yeah, I can do. Okay. Let's check it because actually these are actually kind of insane D so because how to if you want to know how this actually work like if you want to get a different kind of ways how invention works works and that sort of thing and that is based on uh Droven and Goblin for on the task is oh technology yeah Dwarven and Goblin, I think it shows you a different way of it. If 
it and then I'm going to appeal, it will show you how it works and how to clean it. So this is the goblin, the monkey butler, uh, old drunk um, going for it, it and then Doc has a uh, dwarven. Doc, um, I think you have to do a quest to do it. Yeah, death of the death of the Joyce again. Here it is. Yep, have to do the complete quest called Death of the Joyce again quest line to unlock a goblin cave electric technology. Gee, and I believe it's, it's the same thing for God. For the dual vision, I think I had to be a quest called the the Red Axe Drunken. I'm pretty sure they did that quest actually, but it how that how it works works to get high level um, cannons for Slayer actually. Yeah. Anyway, nothing about that. Let's go ahead and talk about. Uh, awards. So the first award I want to talk about is actually the skill cape. So the skill cape is actually kind of cool and unique and it actually suits you a lot. So this is so this is actually the skill cape of invention. Jen, let me get the perk, I mean the, no, the boat for invention. Go ahead. And there you go. I just, I just created a light bulb. Weird. <laughs> okay, it works. Because <laughs> it's actually a. I don't think it was like a I mean, advanced. This is like a, a technology skill. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and so, all right. And the next award they have is actually a skill pet for invention, and that is where is he? Is it Sparky? No, it's not. Is is it? No, that that's not it's not Newton. It's not Archie. Where is he? It's a, it's like a mosquito actually. Here is Metron. Metron. This is actually the invention skill pet at in the setting. It's a high chance you actually can get this uh, pet by twenty invention in the cell. And that's actually pretty much it. It's not really a requirement of a of a elite skill skill cape actually. I can show you actually in the cell. Let me go ahead and have to get that item. Hold on. Placement. Shut down. No, and there you go. It's not in the list at all. But I'm, I'm not even sure why. Uh, it should be like a, su a support skill. I would say it's actually a support skill. So I want. I know. I want to say it's actually a. <clears throat> a Artemis sk skill or a gathering skill. Or more pertaining to like a, a support skill in these cells. So, um, yeah, that's invention. Jen, there you have it. Nothing else I have to retain and nothing else I have to talk about, about it, gotta say. But I hope you enjoy this video and it's a good ride about invention. Jen, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave the video here. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Join T Ravens. Do follow me on all my social media accounts. And excuse me, this is actually a very hard skill to do. But I did it anyway, so good for me. Anyway, I wish you a goodbye and a farewell, and I'll see you next time. So bye.